Yo. Get yeah. ready for it. Get ready for it. <laughs> yeah, you ready? Ben. Ben, stop being scared. Ben. 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 Ben's pretty spooked right now. Yo. This is Castlevania. Ghost. Circle. Of the moon. This is the most pagan of oh, the yeah. Castlevanias. Oh, yeah. About as pagan as you can get. Yo, we're here with Trevor, who's playing me, Whoa. which is S. Bob. Uh, we got Ben, we got Parker. Guess who we don't have? Brandon! Because he's a little baby who cancels things at the last minute. Yeah, super baby. Super baby. In fact, he's more of a baby than normal babies. That's yeah. why he's a super baby. Yeah, ultra, Although he, he, doesn't have, he doesn't have powers, unlike a super Wait, baby. Wait, Lord of Darkness, but you're dark! That's what you named your save oh. file, yeah! I have no tricks. idea why. Um, Pro tricks. Oh wait, isn't that like a? Is is that one of the special save files? No, I just. This is the first game that I can remember like memories of, and I just named my Dang save it, file Camilla. dark. And whenever I play Castlevania game, it's the only series I do. Look at so that smug face while she's trying to resurrect Dracula. What? Is that stupid. Like she's like, <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh. Hey, Dracula. So either she's three feet or Dracula's like eight feet tall. Right. Oh, Dracula is has isn't he always like super tall or like big? Yeah. Well, you know he is a big oh, guy. Oh yeah, no, that makes sense. He, he uh, is a big. He's guy. a big guy, man. For you. <laughs> In comparison to you. <laughs> Woo! Yes, he's very tall. Okay, yeah, he actually For is you. very. Unless ev unless everyone's like three feet tall, he is just. Master, father, rip, and it will Huge take it will take in. it will take Trevor hours and hours and hours to get back to that position. <laughs> no. no. Huge. Are you okay? Dude. Huge. Yeah, I'm a big guy. <laughs> I'll be okay. I'm a big guy. <laughs> Alec Baldwin and Billy Baldwin in the newest castle. Don't you wish you could play as as Hugh? Hugh. How do you even pronounce that? Hugh. It's Hugh. Hugh. It's it's uh like that. Oh, off to a good start. Good start. It's uh like that? like good. the dog from uh <laughs> that one part. Hugh. 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 Yo, let's give a let's give him rest in peace to Haunting Ground, which maybe will eventually finish. Eventually, Probably not. so bad. Hugh. Hugh. Maybe one day I'll just I'll just take the the like like a let's play for it like a like. And just put our talking over or something like that. Alright guys, so I'm totally... Uh, by the way, I got really good. I'm going to do this at world record pace. I've been practicing for a year. <laughs> so yeah, what, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> also, right now I don't have the run. That's why I'm going so slow. Ah, ah it's just like in So you gone. have to earn the back dash. No, um... Isn't there a way to, like, really cheese the game, like, in the beginning? What do you mean? Like, I don't know, I remember this game actually being pretty yes! hard, pretty hard, but actually really easy once I figured out the Uh, sort of so exploit. there is this ridiculous glitch that I'll be using for pretty much the entire run, but yes! I, I have to get two cards first. <laughs> two whole cards? Which, I, I really hope I get two cards. That'd be nice. I mean, you have one. Yeah, it usually drops from these boneheads. How many, uh, how many cards are there in the game, roughly, like? Uh, there are 20. Oh, okay. So, 100 different combinations. Oh, gotcha. Neat. That's me in real life. Did you see that? Spinning the whip. Huh. You would go, you would go, like, to to learn from Chris Klum, and then he'd be like, if that's all you would do. Oh, uh, how do you spin the whip like, like, like Simon? Oh, yeah, that's sweet. not a thing. People don't do that. Yeah, but yeah, Simon but Belmont if, does it. What if poison worms would fall from the sky and you really couldn't whip each one individually? <laughs> And here's some sort of, uh, a nice Earth. recurring enemy. So listen, this is complete in shocks. For those of ah. you unaware, it is October, we do spooby games, and instead of complete in, complete in box, <laughs> or complete in, or like, shocking things, we call Why it complete it in com shocks. Come right in. Ah, no, no, no. We we had a long, long discussion about all this. That's good. <laughs> hey, there it is. Ugh. Slightly faster. Look how much faster. So this game, this game is a little clunky in terms of controls if you're not used to it. 
So whenever you have to run, you have to double tap every t single time. And if you change a direction in the middle, you go slow again. So it's a little it's a little hard to get used to. I do like how when you hit the bats, they don't send you flying. Yeah, GG. Nice. GG. I like it. Uh, no you world record. I, I would really like that second card, please. For a teen rated game, this game has a lot of blood. In fact, every time you oh, hit those bats, they just explode plus into blood. five balls. strength. You got a wristband. Yeah, I'll go with it. I care more. I wish they would drop me a. Yo, Parker, how would you get those poison worms if it wasn't for I know, that? right? If it wasn't for that move. You'd be there all day. Just terrible RNG. Terrible. If you were uh, speedrunning this, Trev, would you have restarted already? Uh, I do want a card. <laughs> That's yes. All right, let's take let's take a moment of our time to thank the base dog. Thank you, dog. Thank you for everything you have done. Now give Trevor a, a card, please. I can't wait until you get a card in the most spectacular. Hey, okay, there, there we go. go. Okay, so thank you. <laughs> thank you. You gotta thank the dog, man. That's all you gotta do. Okay, so there's this glitch that when you activate the. Um, the dual setup system, and you change to a different card while it's being activated. Um, you activate that one. So this is the Holy Sword. This is like one of the end game things. Oh jeez! <laughs> Takes up all of your magic yeah. like, immediately. I, I can't use it a whole ton because I have no MP right now. But yeah, that's that's the really cool glitch. But when you fight a boss, you'll like kill it in a couple hits or whatever. Uh, it's not that overpowered. If I had enough MP, like if I was if I was playing the magician mode. I would have access to, like, summon spells that usually take, like, a couple hundred MP, um, a thing, and then I could kill a boss on one hit. The so Magician Mode is also really annoying. Why is, why, why is Magician Mode annoying, and what are the differences again? Uh, Magician Mode gives you more MP in all the cards, um, starting off, but you have very low attack, HP, or defense, so you die really easily. And gotcha. this game is hard enough, so... Fighter is probably the most safe, but it's the most boring because you can't get any cards. Like, nothing drops cards, but you have, like, more strength and stuff. So I'm just doing normal mode because it's the most... I remember fighting be Fighter being super boring. <laughs> How'd you know that? And, like, there's some other ones, like Crossbow, which is mostly, like, the knife stuff, but that one's also just kind of boring. Wait, was so. that MP Max or HP Max? It was both. I think it was MP. I was going to say, because you did not get your HP back. And that yeah, but you just got an HP that back, triggered so me. didn't do anything. Triggered, no, that was heart. That was, oh, that was heart. Oh, it was life, life, max. No, 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 it, it was, was like was... literal hearts, like sub-weapon things. Yeah, like... like oh. Yeah. They still have those. There's, okay, so there's regular fighter, magician, uh, archer, which is just sub-weapons, I guess. Not, I didn't mean the heart right. that fell. I meant like when he when he got that heart container. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, like 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 it literally heart. it literally okay, increased the, your heart. There's the uh, HP max. Yeah, so you can only carry one. so many hearts. Trev, how how often start. do you use sub weapons? Uh, in this game, not a whole ton. Uh, when I get the uh, holy crossbow or the cross, just a holy cross, I'll use it a little bit, and that's pretty helpful if I still can keep it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. Is, isn't there, like, a last, um, special code um, that I'm just forgetting? You know, I don't think I ever beat this game on crossbow because it's boring, so I don't know. Uh, what is the maximum percentage you can get? Uh, just 100. Just 100, yeah. There's no special castle, there's no secret areas, there's no, like, abuse of, like, save data, so... Ooh! Are you naked? Can you put on cotton clothes? Yeah. Neat. You are not wearing anything. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing but cheese. Nothing but cheese. Oh boy. Woo! Triggered. Alright, here we go. I must say, when it comes to games that I impressed impressed with, overall, a lot of times it comes down to, I'm really impressed by Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games that are like, deep, complex games like this. Or, for Dude, instance, like, Link's, this, Link's Awakening on Game Boy. This was, Boy. Like a like, this was a yeah. launch title or the first year. Yeah, it, within the first year, for certain. Oh, it's, like, very impressive that the Game Boy Advance, considering that the other stuff the Game Boy Advance had the t at the time was, like, Mario, which was a remake of, you know, Nintendo games and stuff like that. 
and like and and the weird thing is that Namco Museum and stuff like that. There's two other Castlevanias, and they look way worse in this game, like graphically. May I don't know. The only thing I can figure is maybe they ha or do they physically have more? Are they bigger games? Not really. Do they have voice acting in the Army of Dissonance has two castles, but it's just the same castle with a different palette. Gotcha. <gasps> Hmm, I don't know. But yeah, I'm always impressed with this. Like like I said, another one was was Link's Awakening on Game Boy, but even more so Link's, um, I'm sorry, Oracle of Ages and Seasons on Game Boy Color. Just absolutely impressed that that was made. Those games are huge, you know, that they're on a Game Boy. The amazing it's thing is that impressive. Link's Awakening and the other two are not even made by Nintendo, so... Okay. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, 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 Capcom made the, uh... Ages and seasons. Yeah, I thought I thought Nintendo made Link's Awakening. Uh, I forget. Okay, I just looked it up, and the last mode is Thief, which is basically like your Castlevania Symphony of the Night, where you start with like stupid high luck, but like really low other stats. That sounds... And I remember that being really fun, actually. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever unlocked that actually. If only you could uh, dangle your whip like uh, in uh, Castlevania Four. Oh, they should bring that back. Have they brought They that will back? never bring that back. Well, considering they're never going to make another Castlevania, let alone a 2D one again, yeah. um, it will never be a thing. That's right. Let's take a let's take a moment to that's wish the true horror. Let's wish um, Konami <clears throat> a good life in their other runs. Uh, thank you, Space Cowboy, for Castlevania and Metal Gear and Silent Hill and the other stuff you and did Gradius when you were good. And Contra when they were and still Gradius good. and Contra. And, and even DDR, which I'm sure you're still going to make those for some reason. So, oh. thank you, Dude, Space. Dude, I think the only things they're going to make are the Pez soccer games and then, like, smartphone games. Yeah, I guess that's, that's true. Thank you, Space Cowboy, for your 25 years of service. Too bad you have to make dumb, uh, what you call it, games now, mobile games. Thank you for how you treated Kojima, most of all. I'm sure he's very happy. And Del Toro. But the good news is, I mean, Silent Hills did not look like it had a whole heck of a lot to do with Silent Hill like the old Silent Hills. So, I don't know. You could make a horror game with those two and still have Norman Reedus in it. And, you know. Is this the invulnerability? No. I don't have enough uh, MP for, like, any of that right now. Even this, like, I don't have a whole lot. So I can't really do anything too cool. So what, was, what did that one do? Gave me a little bit of HP back, and it's a little bit stronger. Uh, okay. It's actually weaker? Yeah, that first one's actually... I say weaker? I just wanted a little health back. Oh, okay, case. that makes sense. See, even that, like that mode 7-ish graphics there, beautiful. I'm just always so gosh darn impressed with... Uh, like, Metal Gear for Game Boy Color, never played it, but I've heard that it's, like, super impressive that it even exists. And it's actually good. And if you would have been like, hey, is Metal Gear good for Game Boy? Without playing it, I'd probably, or reading reviews, I'd probably be like, yeah, probably not. You know, whatever. And, like, this game's even more amazing, because XSplit only records in 30 FPS. So, um... Like, this game at full 60 even looks more amazing. Yeah. Even nowadays, when it comes to DS and 3DS, I'm still like, I'm like, Smash Brothers has its like full game on 3DS. Pretty color me impressed. TBQH. He's boss. Also, you do not get your health back in this game when you beat a boss. That's so lame. I don't know. Speedrun. I like it. Speedrun. It, it definitely makes it more intense. Also, the first thing you get is a double jump. That's yeah. Awesome. Usually you don't get this until, like, forever. Me. Um, unfortunately, you don't sprout full wings, so... Rip. Me in real life, though. And suddenly, the world is your oyster. You have so many more places to go. So many places to see. Always liked mummies in, uh, Castlevania. Obviously not used a whole ton, because they're so slow by design, but... They're usually a good, like, fodder enemy that they just spawn, like, a bunch of them. Yep. Yeah, uh, the mummy boss from Castlevania 1 still pretty hard, but then again, everything in Castlevania 1's hard, so whatever. 
Yeah, and I think this is a good game of blending the lines between the classic and, like, the modern. I'd where... say so, because the other, um... Because this one still has, like, the... Not clunky, but, like, the very predetermined whip mechanic. And, like, the way you move with, like, double tapping and, like, predetermined stuff. Do you get more, um... Do you only have that one whip, or do you get other things? Uh, no. It basically, your, um... The DSS system it acts as different weapons. Okay. Like, not everything's a whip. You can make swords and stuff, too. Also, this is a remake song from... Another Castlevania. Oh, a lot of the music from this game takes music from uh, Bloodlines. You know, that's what it is. It's Bloodlines. That's it. Because uh, I'm pretty sure the Bloodlines uh, developer made this game too. Basically, the the Belmont games were a different developer, and then like the Morris family ones were. Oh, that's interesting. One. But yeah, this one really is a really nice mixture of them. You know. Um, it has the whole, like, big map that everyone likes, and it's not just, like, a left-to-right game like the old Castlevanias. But it's not so crazy in all that you're collecting and stuff. Like, a lot of the newer games, like, Portrait of Ruin is, like, like, I played that, and it was really good, but it was a little too non- like, a little too non-linear for me, because there was a bunch- a whole ton of different places you could go. Uh, yeah, Portrait of Ruin is, like, the most mediocre of all and, the And then games. there's others, like, even the really good ones, like Dawn of Sorrow and stuff like that, where there's just so much to collect, where you, like, try to collect all the souls and stuff. The game I like... actually wanted to do with today was Order of Ecclesia, which I really like, but I'll just have to wait until I get an, um, a better setup. Why is, uh, our DS games, like, really, really hard to emulate? No, I mean, it, it emulates fine if I'm not recording it, but having oh, them both... Oh, recording takes a lot. Yeah, yeah, having them... I'm actually glad I tested it this morning, because I didn't know it was going to run so poorly. Did you just practice Castlevania today? No. I was playing on emulator, like, fine. But oh, but I, I, I didn't just... know if this was, like, you were like, oh, crap, I have to do another game, and you just, like, oh, I mean, came up with this. Th this is the game that I have played it more... Than um, almost all of them except for Soden, so I can play this game anytime without any. Practice. That makes sense. And also, like I said before, it's like a little, like not linear by any means, but like. But yeah, today I did go through like the first two hours as a case. Oh, cool. But other than that, I did not. Really I was gonna say there's less like crazy twists and turns than like a symphony or one of the newer ones. Yeah, when I opened up this ROM, I was surprised when I had a level 100 save file, and I did it just like the end of 2013. So I only played this game like two years ago. Huh. Yeah, the music in Bloodlines is, is great. Bloodlines is really underappreciated, mostly just because it's on Genesis. If it was on Super Nintendo, people would love it as much as 4, or about as much. It also allowed it to be so, because it didn't have Nintendo's, like, seal of approval. We're back. back. Ooh, nice. Fallen. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh... Since it didn't have Nintendo seal of approval, Bloodlines is so bloody, like the name implies. My gosh, that game is so brutal. Maybe I'll practice that someday, Trev. It's only like an hour long, so it's yeah, not it's a cool deal. game. I would probably have to unfortunately choose. Maybe I'd use Whip Guy. I'm not sure. I mean, John just got hit by an enemy that falls on. John him. Morris <laughs> and and Spear like Guy. I forget that dude's name. He got hit again by the. Well, this is a flea man. A credible threat. Yeah. <laughs> they jump. Oh, if only he had that really cool whip thing. His, uh, his, that enemy's only option is to lay down on you. So over here, there's not really anything I have to do, but there is a enemy that's like a, a flame soldier that gives a lot of experience, and I'm just gonna fight him a couple times just so I can gain a, like a level or two. And you know, this looks uh, like the beginning yeah. of Bloodlines right here, Trev. Or maybe the beginning of Symphony, actually. Yeah. Symphony, Symphony. Yeah, and this is the only game that you start in like the middle of the castle for some reason. Well, it kind of it kind of starts you like in the middle of the action, you know? Yeah. Like, usually Dracula's already alive, and you're just entering or whatever. Like, Symphony, it just starts you, like, coming in. Like, literally. Okay. Perfect. So Good. I get the cross here. And I'm gonna want to keep that forever. Is there any reason to ever change to something else? No. Ugh. God. Glorious. Those numbers. I'm just gonna get two levels. So, sorry for being boring. 
Whatever. Wow, they really seemingly do give a lot. Oh, this, uh, this game, though. Alright, everyone. Ben, I think I already know your answer, and Trev, I already think I know your answer. Symphony of the Night, your guys' favorite Castlevania, right? I mean, by far, it's the best. Parker, do you have a favorite yeah. Castlevania uh, game? The 3D one. <laughs> <laughs> On a no, yeah. You know, you know what? And, and and I think everyone by now knows that four is my favorite. So usually, what you find with people is they either say symphony or they say four, because four is the best of the two D ones, and symphony is the best or of the standard ones, and symphony is the best of the newer ones. But I, I honestly like almost every single Castlevania game ever made. The only one I think is a bad game is the second GBA one called Harmony of Dissonance. It's just a really clunky, ugly, horrible sounding game. What's the uh, what's the yeah, thing? It's what's right the thing in, the in that one? It's right in the title. It's the yeah. harmony of the distance. Right. I mean, like that. If that's what they're going for. <laughs> I, well, 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 I mean, them. they had to stay true to the so, title. So there's a, there's three Game Boy Advance ones, right? There's uh, Harmony Distance and Aria of Sorrow, right? Um. Yeah. And Aria of Sorrow is the one where you collect souls, right? Yeah, I I literally replayed Aria of Sorrow like three months ago, and that's a great game. Okay, so what's the what's the thing you do in um, Harmony of Dissonance that you don't uh, Harmony like? Harmony of Dissonance, you play as another Belmont. Um, I honestly forget his name. But the game is just really clunky, even compared to this game. Like, just everything feels super bad. Hmm. Do you also collect souls and stuff like that? Uh, no. It's, there's nothing interesting. There's no, like, card system. It's just, you have a whip. Huh. And, like, you get, like, elemental, like, books that, like, change your things slightly. But it's, I don't know, I just don't like the game. Yeah, get off this case. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Seriously. Now, may I also say something else, Parker, if you don't mind. Leather armor! Thank you. Uh, Parker brought up Castlevania 64, the 3D one. I actually think that one, it's not extremely good, and it's probably the worst Castlevania. That's but like one of the only Castlevania games I've never finished. But it's not, like, as bad as people make it out to be. People make it out to be, like, an all-time worst game. And it, like, totally is not. It's, it's, it's just average. It's not, like, bad. Well, the other thing, though, is it's, you're, it's, in the, it's in the family with Castlevania games. Yeah. It, like, if it's, even if it's average, it's then therefore bad, because Castlevania games are so know, good. Are so I mean, good. I, mean, I know, it comes but... out, like, what, after Symphony of the Night, or right around? Uh, right around, at the very least. Symphony was actually a pretty early PS1 game. Yeah, it, it like, came out in 97. Yeah, I was gonna say, probably 97. So. So I would actually say 64 came out later, which is even more depressing. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, it's like, if it came out and it wasn't called Castlevania, it people would probably not remember it, and maybe some people would hold a little bit of nostalgia for it, you know, just like they kind of do with, for some bad old games, and just like, whatever. It would probably be like a, a niche. Yeah. Kind of thing. It would be like a Mischief Makers, where, like, Mischief Makers is not good. We saw Brandon play it. Like, it's not particularly good. It's, it's interesting. 